Hi there, sweet pea. What seems to be the problem? You think you have something in your eye? Oh, gee, I'm so sorry to hear that. What can I do to help? You want me to help you get it out? Are you sure? You know, sometimes if someone else is poking around in our eye, it can be really agitating. And we can, like, try and blink them away, but it don't always work. Are you really sure? Have you tried to get it out yourself yet? You have. And what's been stopping you? It's gone real far in. Oh, goodness. You think I'll be able to even see it? You can? Okay. Um... I'm not sure if I have the right tools for this. To be quite honest with you, last time I had something in my eye, I really tried to get it out myself. I did. I did. But what ended up happening is I just kind of like poked almost my eyeball out of its socket. Yeah, the eyelash went right underneath my eye and it was gone forever. I was trying real hard to get it out. And ultimately I fell asleep and I woke up and the pain was gone. I don't know, maybe my eyeball ate my eyelash. Crazy story. You don't believe me? Alright, well, fair enough. Does it really hurt real bad? Oh, gosh. I, are you sure it's an eyelash? Or, oh, you don't know what it is. It could be an eyelash. It could be... Okay. Alright, that's really not good news. No, not good news at all. Just look right at me, okay? I'm just gonna try and use this mirror just to quickly see. Oh, the mirror is not clean. Ugh. Okay, that's a lot better. Alright, I'm just gonna try and see... I can see it. Let me just put this right there and see if I can see where this thing is. You said it was your left eye? Alright. Okay. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what that could be in there. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely not seeing anything, let alone an eyelash or a hair. I don't know. Do you have any pets? Dogs? Cats? Mice? Snakes? Anything, really. I don't know. What sheds? Other than people, really. Okay. Yeah, I'm still not seeing it. I might need to come in real close. Hold still. I'm just gonna be touching all over your eyes for a little bit. I'm so sorry, dearie. Yeah, no, I'm not really seeing anything in there. You sure you saw something in there? Maybe you need to go to an eye doctor, a, a clinic of sorts. I'm not sure what that could be in your eye. Oh, you're, you're sure. You're sure there's something in your eye? Okay, okay. You definitely saw it. I'm not trying to gaslight you. I'm really not. I'm just not really sure if I see anything in there. Okay, positive, 100%. All right, all right, all right. Um, what can I do? I mean, I only have limited tools here. I don't really care carry around a bunch of things for extracting things out of people's eyes. Okay. Let me just put that right there. And I'm just trying to I'm just trying to feel up against your eye and like maybe move something. Can you actually can you do me a big favor and can you take both of your index fingers or middle fingers, anything really, and just pull up like this that way I can get easier access to your eye. Yeah, it's a lot easier if you do it because the more I'm like using one hand and like using the other, it gets real confusing. And maybe I'll have to use multiple tools. Who really knows? Okay. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry not keep touching my hair. I'd keep doing it. I'm sorry. I really hope one of my long strands don't get in your eye again. I'm so, so, so sorry, girl. Okay, hold still. Yep. I think I maybe see it, but um, hopefully this don't cause any further irritation and make the eyelashes fall in your eye. But maybe if I curl your eyelashes a bit. No. Don't be sensitive. Don't be sensitive. Let me curl them. Let me. Don't be sensitive. Don't be whiny. Okay. Hold still. I'm just going to. Yes, so now I have easier access. I would do 
both eyes, but you don't need both eyes. I'm trying to be generous here. Although you will look a bit uneven. How about you let me do the other? You know, you, you gotta change my mind on that. Hold on real still. Just gonna curl, curl, curl in your eyelash. Okay, great. So now, I, I, I'm gonna just... with you. I'm gonna use your glasses, or not your glasses. I don't know whose glasses they are. I'm just gonna use these glasses real quick, and I'm gonna real see. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think I see it. <laughs> I tricked you there, didn't I? combined that's awful that's like putting fire in your eyeball at least at least i can assume i don't know i've never had fire in my eyeball but i'm just assuming that possibly maybe probably that's exactly what it would feel like okay um let me just let me just i'm gonna be honest with you the same way that my hair just kind of fell in my face just then i'm just gonna clip it back i'm just gonna clip it back but also i think that you need to be clipped back too yeah, hold still. I'm just going to go ahead again. Good. Again, I have two more. <laughs> okay. You don't have that much hair, but I'm going to be honest with you. This is kind of fun. One, two, three. Good. All right, one more time. Fantastic. Okay, so now I saw it with the glasses, but I don't think I'm going to need the glasses for the entire thing because now that I've spotted it, I think I can keep seeing it. So just look right at me and I'm just going to try and pluck, 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 pluck. Okay, yeah, that's not really working that well. What if I try and brush it out? This may hurt even more than the fire. Yeah, please stop moving. Please stop moving. It's real difficult when you do that. Real difficult when you move. Okay. seeing much of it. Alright, I'm gonna try this method. I feel like if I keep cycling through the same methods, ultimately I'll get it out. Okay, so this is usually used to like clean your glasses or your phone. So it cleans like important surfaces. So I'm hoping that it'll pick up that little fiber in your eye, okay? If all else fails at the end, I'll get my vacuum. Okay, hold still.
honest with you, I think this one is work. Okay. Okay, you know what? That light's damn near impossible. Can you just look right here? Yeah, look at this. Isn't this pretty? So my friend, she got me this. It's a little light bulb with seashells in it. <laughs> Ain't it cute? So just look here. Yep, look here for me. Look here for me. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try and plug. You don't want to look at this. It's kind of distracting. All right, all right. And you're in pain. Oh, gee, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, so just let me just try and get that out. I was saying about that peanut butter earlier? I don't really know, sweetheart. I don't really know. Sometimes I just think things and they don't really fully come out in all the same pace. It's real hard. I really do struggle to talk. I feel, you know, I'm going to open up to you right now. I really do feel like people look down on me or think I'm not very smart. But to be quite honest with you, I think I'm very intelligent. It's just sometimes... I have these thoughts and I can't articulate them well, but they're well thought out. People always look down on me, whether it's my accent or how I present myself or what I say because I have birds for brains. You know, sometimes words just come out and I don't have a finished thought yet. My whole thing is I just thought I was like peanut butter because I like peanut butter and I like me and that's okay. You will like me a lot more if I got that thing out of your eye. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel like I've just been wasting your time. I'm really worried I'm not going to be able to get it out. All my life, I really do try my best. I really do. I'm just going to brush it out, okay? Yeah, no, keep, keep holding your hands like here, okay? Yeah. No, don't. 
don't feel bad, it's okay. People often look down on us because they don't understand us. So as long as you're not looking down on me, I think we're okay. You know, I've been really trying my best, and I know you have been too. We've both been trying our best, and the best is all we can do sometimes. Sometimes you get a bad grade on a test, and you've studied your absolute butt off, and what can you really say except I'm sorry? And I tried. And the best you can do is try. You can't be the best at everything. You can't be perfect. That's okay. Being perfect is not a necessity in life. It's honestly kind of making life a little bit boring to be so perfect. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. Your mom's not perfect. Your dad's not perfect. Your pa's not perfect. Your mom's not perfect. Whoever. Sister, brother, dog, cat, snake, fish. Mouse, none of them are perfect. But that's kind of what makes life fun, don't you think? Even the situation we're in right now. The fact that I am helping you get this thing out of your eye. It's kind of perfect in its own way, isn't it? No, you don't think so? Sorry. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna do a method I think works. You know what? I don't even care no more. I'm not listening to any stereotypes. I'm just going in there. Come in close, sweetie. Come in close. I'm gonna get that thing out of your eye, okay? If it's the last thing I do. Okay. Let me just... Plunk, 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 plunk. Plunk, 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 plunk. Plunk, 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 Um, my G, all I needed to do was move you a bit closer. It's right here. You see it? It's a hair. It's a hair with a piece of lint attached. Actually, I think the lint is gone. Do you see the lint? Do you even see the hair? It's real small. It's real tiny. And you know what? Those are the ones that hurt the most. Those are the burgers that get in there and you can never get them out. No, no, no. So, <laughs> you're welcome. Um, I, you can go your own direction now. You don't have to be so close to me. <laughs> um, but, I got it out. You're welcome, you're welcome. No need to thank me. I think it would be nice though. <laughs> yeah, you look gorgeous, by the way. Now that it's all out in your eye, it's still a little red. It's still, honestly, to be, to be real with you, it's still real red. But now that it's out of your eye, I can see you're all rejuvenated. Yeah. Oh, I'm not that bad. Oh, thank you, thank you. I was real worried, you know, because I can, I can be a bit of a chatterbox and people don't really know when to make me sh quiet you know and i just keep on talking and talking and talking and uh it's not always great but i'm glad you thought it was great i'm glad that we got along and i'm glad i got that thing out of your eye yeah oh i just call everyone girl i call people girl missy ma'am everything you know i i talk my, i i call my phone girl yeah, I do. I do. I call my phone girl. I call everyone girl. Everyone's girl. <laughs> it's not that serious, I promise you. Okay. I'm glad it's out of your eye. And if you ever need someone to get something out of your eye again, let me know. I'll be your girl. <laughs> Alright, sweetie. Take care now.